All right, we're back again. Oh, yesterday did not quite go as I thought it would be. Uh, as I thought it would. So we are going to uh, we're going to replay the fifth day because I don't. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid uh, having to repeat the game too much if I can help it. Um, but. Um, I don't seem to be the only one who thought that day 5 is kind of messy. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, we have to do like multiple things here. We have to... We have to keep Kaido and Heisuke away from each other. We also have to deal with good luck. Um, and we... well... So that's basically three things. Keep uh, keep both of the boys alive and also deal with the vampire. But what I missed to do yesterday was to actually talk to Kaido. Um, I'm not 100% sure of what I'm doing here if, this, if it's actually um, avoiding me losing out on anything. Um, we'll just see what happens here. I have... I've saved um, because I actually had this save file, which is exactly when the fifth day starts. So I was just um, basically doing the same things all over again, making pretty much the same choices. The only change I've done is to use. Um, I did some kind of fusion with with uh, some demons. And then I used the old, some two older demons that were, or weaker demons, and fused back Quetzalcoatl. So that's about it. And as as it just happens, is that he actually has constrict, which should actually help me against uh, Kudlak and not have him run away. But that's that's probably not the tricky part. The tricky part is to actually make all of the correct choices here. Um, yeah. Oh wait, actually, I'm level... I'm level 38. Can I actually do some more fusions here? Oh, yeah, I can. Odin. Let's see, what do I need for this guy? So yeah, I'll, I'll just keep it as a reminder that my... That the third bo the, the bottom save file is when I've actually grinded back up from uh, uh, from a, from the start of the, uh, the fifth day. If anything goes wrong, I can just load that save file, and we should be we should be fine. Because it's before we make any kind of choices, like before we talk to we haven't talked to any NPC yet or done any of the uh, events. We still have that to do. Which should be safe. Okay, Orcus. If I get Orcus... Wait, he's mostly magic. Ah, uh, that's not... Great. Anyone else that I can do here? I say maybe. Either that, or I fuse away Nalagiri to something else. But double up actually seems too good to actually give up on. Um, okay, let's, let me see here. Uh oh, Wait, maybe I should actually get life aid for the. Okay. I think I'll actually save this for some other time to do that, that fusion. I, I need to level up um, Quetzalcoatl first. Um, okay, so let's actually do the thing. Uh, and then talk to, to Kaido, because I missed to do that yesterday. Uh, and see what, what happens. Yo, guys. I hear that Four Eyes shows up around here. I sent a crew to check the area. Because, I mean, if we don't talk to Kaido, then we can't avoid uh, having him uh, finding Keisuke. Because I mean, Keisuke doesn't no, because he doesn't know what Keisuke looks. Uh, he doesn't know Keisuke. He just knows what he looks like, and of course, 
I mean, I wanted to talk to him. I mean, I wanted to talk to both of them yesterday, but I don't know. I just got kind of messed up. Uh, but the, uh, I just ended up missing. Ended up missing Kaido. Jeez, what a pain. So this time we're going to do. This over with so I can avenge my bro. So this time we're going to talk to him first. Um, let's see if maybe we can avoid uh, the, uh, the conversation that didn't really lead anywhere with with Keisuke, pretty much. Uh, what a pain, I want to hurry up and get this over so I can avenge my bro. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> you get it, huh? Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You got a pack of weird creatures yourself. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> Look who's talking. To me, you're just as weird as your crew, dude. It sucks leading a team. My boys get punked and I do nothing. The whole team loses face. I don't really care. I'm only leading these guys because this was my brother's gang. So yeah, I think what... Because I saw a comment saying that, oh no, you missed out on some things. And, uh, I mean, basically... What 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 Atsuru and I was talking about in the morning of this day was, oh, you're supposed to uh, convince Kaido to to help out Miss Mari because then he will be distracted from uh, trying to find where Kiske is. That's uh, that's one thing that I uh, that's what's great about unfortunately the forgot about. It gives me the power I want whenever I want it. It's pure strength with no strings attached. No just team a bit, rep, no drama, nothing. Just a bit surprised that, like, before we were... I mean, it didn't seem like he was uh, maybe super angry with us, but when would you talk to him now, he doesn't, like, he doesn't... He's not antagonistic towards us. Like, he's hey, not... Um, level with me. What are your plans for this power? Like suddenly we're back on, uh, you know, acquaintance terms. What are your plans for the power? Hmm. Or just oh a yeah, let's wait a few days, see what you say then. Okay. Yeah, it's a pain, but I gotta take care of my business. If you got nothing else, I'm gonna get going. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is where we talk about Mari. Wait, what'd you just say? Mari's fighting a vampire. Oh, hand over Mari's bag. Okay, well, we can all, we obviously can't say nothing, so we gotta hand it over, I guess. What the? This is Mari's bag. Why do you have it? I was supposed to give the bag to Mari. Huh? She can't fight the vampire without this? <sighs> that girl... Four eyes can wait. I gotta get this to Mari. Hmm, okay. This seems to be the ticket. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. It's been seven months now since my brother died. I'm finally gonna nail the bastard that killed my bro and cornered Mari. Oh. I guess none of this has anything to do with you, does it? But hey, I owe you one, man. Thanks. All right. That probably did it. Although I didn't exactly expect the... Uh, to give the bag to him, but okay. Um... Okay. Let's see, we can talk to Atsu, we can talk to Keisuke. We can talk to Honda. And there's the fight against the SCF. Uh... Let me see, let me... Let me try this, since we didn't actually talk to Jin yesterday. Oh hey, perfect timing. I was looking for you. It's about last night's email. I thought it would be easier if I just told you in person. Okay. You wanted to know about Haru, right? Okay, but not a word about this to anyone. Of course not. Haru's parents abandoned her when she was little. She was raised by her grandmother. When she died, her relatives fought over her inheritance, and they threw Haru out. Ever since, she's thought of herself as useless. 
she cares less and less about life. Um, That's why she goes through life like it was a race. That's boring. But then she met Aya and started her career as a singer. She channeled her worries, her sorrow, and her small joys into songs for the whole world. Haru wears her heart in her throat. Her voice is very moving. <laughs> Tell her that sometime. She'd be happy to hear it. After Tokyo became infested with demons, Haru stopped singing. It's not just the blackout. She refuses to sing. I can tell. Nothing she did in this state would surprise me. Not even suicide. But Haru has opened her heart to you, so you're the only one left I can ask. If you see her again, don't forget what I told you. See ya. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and then we also gotta try to get the belongings from no uh, no Noah's belongings from Asuma. From the nice guy. Uh, and then we gotta try to talk to Keisuke, I guess. There's way too many things that we gotta do today that are way so comp. important, and you. The data that he, now you're left behind, is in this comp. And you have so little time to actually do it. It's like we're, we're, we're checking off the boxes like in rapid succession here. Uh, I feel like this this day is probably the, um, the worst day. Like. You, everything is just, uh, it's like a culmination of several events happening so close to each other. Thank you very much. Think nothing of it. Well then, please excuse me. Okay, let Then he does the whole thing and he looks at it. Just, you know, those fan. Huh? Right, design. Uh, the co- uh, Huh? She- Hmm. Trying- Ah! Uh, ha! Now you- Right. This comp's been locked, and everything in it is encrypted. What the Shomunkai saw as gibberish was exactly what they were looking for. Wowza! <laughs> well, you know, I am... Aww. Uh, some- Phew! You who? Why do you- Yeah, that's right. I'm glad you understand me. If we can figure out how demons are summoned, we might be able to get rid of them. And if all goes well, it might give us complete command over demons. I'll work on the encryption and analyzing the data later. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. Well, let's get going. Okay, so that's that. Is there anything else? You can talk to Keisuke. Uh, we need to do that. I'm not sure we. it's actually relevant to talk about to or eavesdrop on Amane and her dad. So we're just gonna uh, talk to Keisuke. That's... Keisuke, stop it! Hi, Itsuro. Everyone, don't worry. Yama won't harm you. It's not about us. Why are you making Yama attack people? Stop doing this! You don't understand. Stop bullying people. I'm not. Bullying is something the weak do. I... I would never. My emotions aren't part of this. I leave the judgments to Yama. By his fair judgment, only those... This is fair judgment? I'd never presume to condemn people by my own... That's just... Isn't that... Humans, but Midori. It's the ability to bear I mean, it feels like I can't human. really convince Keisuke. He feels those who give in and choose to cause others pain. They're no longer human. God, that's why I know people, but then let me tell you what those scum and old and what Phil. Thank you. You begin to see my point. But but even so. You didn't have to make your demon attack them! I left the ruling to Yama, but then... They haven't we talked enough? I've hardened my heart if you and... That was justice? Is that how far you have to go to really be just? Hmm... 
Yeah, this is yeah, this is also a tricky thing. Like, how do you? Uh, because we managed to at least distract uh, Kaido, but we still have the problem that uh, we gotta deal with or handle the situation with Pisky somehow. And I feel like I'm not sure about my uh, how I should go about to do this. Like it's going too far. Like how much I should push. Um, it's not like. Mm. I said there are other ways last time. Other ways? Keisuke means well, but what he's doing is way too extreme. I think so too. Keisuke. So, how the hell do you... Okay, so I mean, first we have the Mari situation at 12. And then... Um... I don't know, I guess... Is Kaido going to... Like, find Maori or...? But what happens one hour later? With Keisuke? That's the thing that I am not... Um... That's... Um... See, then, and then we have this thing at 1, where Kaido is the suspect that actually kills, or is allegedly kill, uh, ending up killing Keisuke. Uh, I'm not sure, like... But if, he, if we do the... Um, since we gave the bag to, hmm, to Kaido, what else can I do? Because I can't... It feels like you don't really... You can't... It, it feels like you can't actually stop Heiske just by that conversation. So you're, we're gonna have to... I guess we're gonna have to fight him. No matter what you... No matter what dialogue option you choose. I guess. Uh, I feel like it's not really... Yeah. 11. So there's one hour left. Um... Uh... What are you saying, Amane? As I... So it's we must summon his ma- But for the a- Our we are the- Father, we can- Was she- Yeah, it looks- There's no dialogue options left to- There's no other events to do now. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't there a- Wasn't there an event that was blue where we were supposed to- <sighs> Yeah, there was an event in Ueno. With a suspicious man. Oh my god, I forgot to talk to him. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure how. No, but I feel like it's significant because it's a blue event. And now it's now it's gone. God damn it. Yeah, I don't you can't freaking... You can't freaking tell when you can, like, how big of a window you have to do something. Before it's too late. Maybe I can, you know, maybe I can actually uh, delay the... At least the talk with... No, but I, I, I mean, I definitely gotta talk to Kaido at least. And... God... Why is this... See, yeah, the suspicious man. It doesn't actually... It doesn't even take up any time. Angels. I don't know if that was even worth it. <laughs> to be honest. <sighs> For God's sakes. And oh, uh, yeah, and there's even... You can even talk to Atsuro. 
freaking hell. Why? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, we definitely gotta talk to Kaido. I don't have to pay. Oh, you don't if. Wait. What? I owe you. Okay, that's one thing. Uh, and then we definitely gotta talk to Asuma. Uh, um, I don't know if it. Do we need to talk to Asuma? Let me. Uh, Oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm actually getting a phone call. Uh, I'm gonna pause the recording. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm not sure if that actually works. I've never actually paused the recording before. So if that feature actually works out later, I'll. Uh, that would actually be neat. Um, okay. So, yeah, do we talk to. Like, What happens if we talk to case game? Hey, about the comp ten. Yeah, I was thinking it's about time we checked out what's in it. Oh, okay. Go for it. All right. But won't it lock up if we get the password wrong? It seems that way. We only get one shot at this, so I want everyone's input. It's a four-digit code, but what would he use as a password? I don't know. His birthday? His address? Oh, maybe his phone number or his blood type. Dude, I wouldn't use stuff that weak for my ATM pin. He'd go with something trickier. Hmm. What about his name? Yeah, he wouldn't forget his full name, and it would be hard to find out. In fact, even I only know his last name. What about his handle? His handle? You mean 10-bit? Can that be a number? Number, huh? Yeah, maybe so. Let's give it a shot. I have no idea. Ten's already a number, but what's bit? A bit is the smallest unit of data storage. It has two states, on, one, or off, zero. Oh my god. Hmm. So ten bits would mean 20 states total? Whoa there, Yoohoo. It's not simple multiplication. It's actually exponentiation. 10 bits isn't 2 times 10. It's 2 to the 10th power. Well, I know my stuff, huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's 2 to the 10th power? Wait. 2 to the 10th power? Wait, 2 to the power of 10th? Uh... Two to the tenth power. Uh, see, I know, I know math, but when it's English terms, I what the hell does? How do you do that? Oh, it's two. Oh, okay, so it's act. Oh, okay, so it's. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. Okay, so that's how they they calculate it. It's. Two times itself ten times, so that's like that's uh, twenty ten twenty four. What? You're right. It's ten twenty four. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably very natural if you speak English, but I swear to God, math math terms in English just makes my brain shut down. Don't tell me you worked that out in your head. Are you a secret math whiz? Wait, 1024? That's four digits. Then is that the answer? <laughs> wow, good call on the handle thing. Come on, give me at least some of the credit. Sure, sure, whatever. Hurry up and try the password. Jeez, you can be cruel. All right, here goes. One, zero. Uh, Atsuro, you put in 1023. It's supposed to be 1024. Calm down. In programming, numbers are counted starting from zero. Hmm. 
so the largest value 10 bits can contain is 1023. Haha! <laughs> Bingo! Oh. Huh. Jeez. How is any normal person supposed to know that? <laughs> no, everyone but... <laughs> okay. They wouldn't. That's why it's a good password, right? All right, I'm going to read through this. Give me some time. Okay, good luck. Good luck reading. What the hell? What's up, Atsuro? Did you find out something? Y yeah. Do you guys know about the PSE law? Nope. PSE law? It was passed to make sure electronic devices are safe, but it has a lot of problems. Any electronic device that hasn't passed a special body's inspection can't be sold. A friend of mine got so mad because he couldn't buy an old used TV for cheap anymore. Go on. Well, the law wasn't explained very well to businesses or the relevant regulatory agencies. They only announced their policies right before the enforcement began. Some secondhand dealers were even forced into bankruptcy because of it. Was that on the news? Yeah. The retailers raised a stink in the media as soon as the policies were announced. It passed in 2001, but they allowed a grace period until 2006 because of the outcry. Bruh. Oh, I think I remember that. I'm not much for gadgets, so I didn't know the details. Figures. That's how the government made people get used to it over time. But Tenbit and his journalist friend thought something was fishy. And they were right. That law had an undisclosed purpose. What? But aren't we talking about home appliances like microwaves and fridges? Yeah, that's the whole trick behind it. Take an ordinary microwave like we have. You have one at your place, right, Yuzu? You ever open it up and look inside? Huh? Of course not. I mean, it's a microwave. That's what most people think. It's what let the government get away with this. No one noticed the extra chip installed inside every PSE certified product. An extra ship. Yeah, it says here that's why the journalist disappeared. When Tenbit took over his work, he eventually figured out what the chip was for. What does it do? When it gets a certain signal, the chip controls the output of the device's power source. For what, though? Tenbit wondered the same thing, and he discovered an astonishing fact. The real, classified intent of the PSE law was the UEM field. UEM what? What does UEM stand for? Ultra Electromagnetic. I swear to God. <laughs> These industries with their acronyms. It's a super weapon that uses EM waves. Oh. Oh, okay. It's like an ultra EM bomb. Look, every electronic device emits EM waves. Every one. But they're very weak, so ordinarily the waves don't pose any problem. However, a powerful EM wave moves molecules, which creates heat just like a microwave. Oh my... Ever hear that joke about the cat in the microwave? Living things would boil to death. Yeah, um, I, I actually learned uh, that uh, story about uh, the cat in the microwave uh, from, uh, from from an anime. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason why I know about it. Ugh, that's an awful example. But is it easy to make EM waves that strong? It's hard, but possible. Right. It's not impossible. It's like how we learned in physics that two overlapping waves can make a bigger one. The EM waves that ordinary household electronics emit are weak, but Japan is flooded with electronics nowadays. What if all those electronics had a chip that emitted EM waves on command? If someone activated them all at once, what would happen? Um, I'm not 100% sure on the actual, you know, how viable would this be in real life? But I mean, no, obviously not, because the government hasn't put the uh, ships ships inside every <laughs> electronics device. But uh, I hope not. W wait a second. You're saying someone, but the government passed this law, right? Why would they do something that dangerous? What would they do with a chip like that? Oh my God. Why did we stumble upon another plot when we were already dealing with four of them? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. 
That's not uh, probably counter invasions. Seriously? I invasions? Oh my god, you're talking about the demon invasion. So what? If some country invaded Japan, they'd use that UEM field thing against the invading army? Uh, okay, enough. Shouldn't we be thinking more about how to stay alive? Come on, you two, let's go. Hey, all that stuff, does it really have nothing to do with us? No, there's probably something to it. Um. Yeah, I think so too. The lockdown and blackout. I hope they have nothing to do with this UEM field. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Why did... Seriously? There's another event with Atsuru? Oh my... Please! Hmm. I feel I want to I want to get this day as correct as I possibly can, but at the same time, I don't exactly know what to do here. Um, all right. So, because I'm not really I'm not really going to be strict about how I do this playthrough. Technically, it's technically it's a blind playthrough, but uh, yeah, if yeah, if anyone actually. Yeah, feel free to just tell me, like, uh, how do I know if I'm actually... Uh, what choices should I actually do here to make sure that I get as much as possible right? Um, I think... At least I get the feeling that you're supposed to talk to Kaida first to get that out of the way. Uh, or wait... <sighs> Hmm. But then you have this event with Atsuro with the comp, and the password, uh, and then you can apparently talk to him a second time. And then you, ca you can also talk to Jin about Haru. I'm, uh, Haru is such a wild card. I, I, I feel like I. The, the story is. The story with Hari just goes all over the place. Um, but yeah, I'll um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a break. So I'll, I'll also write it in the video description. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I would much appreciate if uh, if anyone could help me with just ma let me know which choices am I supposed to do uh, to make sure that I. You know, that I, I am doing the correct choices during this day, because this day is definitely the most uh, chaotic one, and we're getting close to where... We're getting close to the conclusions of several branching storylines happening here, like side stories, and it's very, like... It gets a little too much on all the things you have to do on the fifth day. So yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments uh, if there's like a specific order I need to do things in. Um, I mean, I, uh, at least Kaido, I feel like you have to at least do it first, but um, I'm not sure about case. Yeah. Although I feel like you can't really talk him out of anything, so you're gonna have to fight him or something. Maybe. Because I haven't <laughs> I haven't even gotten past the, the good luck part. But at least we... I'm pretty sure of how to at least distract Kaido to... Uh, uh, to have him focus on Mari instead of Keisuke. So that thing may be resolved. Uh, but what... Yeah, what am I supposed to do after that? Because if I don't, it's like, I feel like I have just 10 a.m. in the morning. You're getting locked out of choices depending on on uh, when you choose to talk to certain people. Um, I definitely remember that the sh the the conversation with Atsuro definitely disappears after a while. But I think that was on the, at the same time when you talked to when you could talk to Jin because now I can't talk to Jin anymore. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this this is a freaking mess. Uh, yeah, this this ends up getting a bit messy, but I I just want to like I I just want to not have to play through the game again if I can help it uh, from day one to uh, get as much uh, progress in as possible. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna take a break and uh, uh, yeah. I guess you'll see the uh, you, you'll see this video uploaded in a few days. So uh, uh, yeah, uh, please let me know in the comments on uh, in which order you're supposed to do things. Uh, thank you. Take care.